Hello friends and welcome back to Bitfumes and we are working on image upload series and this time we are going to see how we can crop an image. For that we need a package and as I have talked to you about the package in the introduction video of this series we are going to use view avatar. So you have to go to github.com slash 220 that means T W O two zero. 20 slash view avatar editor i will post the link in the description so you can easily get that so here we have view avatar and we have to um, install this in our project so firstly let's create a new route for avatar obviously it's not here so let's open php storm and now open web.php file i have pressed command e to find any file you can also use command p i have configured it okay so now let's say here um, view avatar editor okay and now here a route route is get name is avatar and let's we have to create an avatar controller so let's na name it avatar controller at show uh, no simply avatar avatar or I will say it view avatar that will be good okay so this route is created but we have not created any avatar controller so let's just open new terminal here itself inside PHP and now we have to say PHP artisan make controller and the controller name is avatar controller that's nice so this means if I now search via command P or if you go to navigation for your PHP storm you will see there is find and whatever command you have decided that will show here so I have command P so now say avatar controller and it's here so let's create a new function so function and function name is we have decided it should be view uh, that will be view underscore avatar uh, because inside here controller hyphen does not work so if I try to use hyphen here uh, you can see red 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 <laughs> errors are here so view underscore avatar and now we are going to return a simple view called again avatar or simply view underscore avatar make all these things same as possible so that you don't forgot all these things so that's why i have named same as the function name so let's go to resources views and let's say create a new blade file inside here view avatar and this i don't want let's grab everything from show save image dot blade so everything from here paste it here and move it here and now I don't want this component save image component I don't want but everything else is good so let's now name it view avatar editor that's cool and now everything is set up let's go to chrome and refresh and yeah view avatar editor but here we have to include our view avatar editor okay so let's see how we can install it so let's open php storm and in a new terminal we have to say npm install then comes view hyphen avatar hyphen editor same name as the github repository view avatar editor so that's nice let's say hyphen save so that it will save this in our package.json file so now you can see our package is successfully installed so let's go to this node modules folder yeah i know it's a long list of folders but we have to find view avatar editor which is here okay that's nice but how we can use it this means we have to again go to github repository and then we just want to grab all these things so why not create a new component 
to have all these things so let's open resources asset js component and here we have to create new view file and i will call it view hyphen uh, avatar simple okay and the template will be inside div because we have lots of things here so we have to make sure we only give one uh, tag or one element inside this template so everything is set up let's now go and see what else we have to do yes we have to import all these things so let's go once more php storm and here let's paste this but these import part will come here okay so that's nice and now you can see we don't have to create this new app so let's delete that and this means avatar controller components is good methods is good and this means we have an extra closing tag so let's now move this and let's now go and see whether we have these things in our component folder or not no we don't have any view avatar dot view in our component so let's see how we can grab that so because this package is so awesome but there is extremely bad thing about this actually if you try to use as it is it will not going to work because there is a big problem in its documentation and also in its source file so if i go to note modules and let's search for view avatar this one you will see the source file and the components and yeah here we have the component but these import says that we have to import from our component file and this is not the case so this is the first problem second problem is that if i open view avatar dot view inside the node module folder you can see we have this canvas tag that's nice but we don't have a closing canvas tab so if we try to edit this yeah we can do that but it's not recommended to edit node modules folders component so why not do one thing let's grab all these two so what i will do i will just copy this source folder from here close all these things now i will go inside this js and now create a new directory called view avatar editor and let's do this and inside here i will going to paste it so these things so now as we have all these things we can edit it easily yes that's nice and let's now go and let's just delete this we don't need this main.js we just need these two component that's nice great and now go to view avatar and this time we have to say this is not inside the component it's inside view avatar editor then source then component so similarly here this is not here it's inside view avatar then src then components so now let's try to run watch that means run npm watch and yes it is successfully built so let's now go to chrome and here refresh this let's open this view tab yeah no error this means everything is working fine so now we have to use this component in our uh, view avatar dot blade file okay so here let's do this view hyphen avatar we have to use this so let's go to app dot js file to define this component so now as we have this example component what this will do this will create a component as a global component so we can create a global component and let's name it uh, um, custom avatar editor i am going to name this so that it will distinguish from all other view files and the component name is inside component then view hyphen avatar okay and now we don't have to define it, this component anywhere because it's globally available so let's go to blade file and instead of this 
we are going to use this one and yes i know there is some error let's just see what the error is okay so here inside this it says there has to be one only one element inside the editor and that's because of this you can see inside the template we are using canvas and input so let's just move all these things inside a div okay so this is good and now build successful let's go here refresh page and you can see we have successfully done that this means this editor is successfully working this means if we can do all these things everything is going to work so that's the major part of using view avatar editor and we will meet in the next episode to continue this thing and till then if you have any problem feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel so bye bye